Bringing a sense of drama to today's production, stage producer Colin Ingram will tell us why it's been a bumper year for the theatre. Despite the reduction in private donations, the UK theatre industry has done remarkably well in the recession. Audiences can be volatile, but so far the applause is still ringing in the producer's ears. Well, Colin Ingram is here. Just for you, Colin. He's a theatre <laughs> producer and his first West End production, Breakfast at Tiffany's, starring Anna Friel, is currently at the Theatre Royal Haymarket and doing very well, I understand, as well. Yes, I can see it is very good. Um, first six months of the year, better than last year. That's a surprise, isn't it? Yes, I mean, I, I think it's threefold. Um, firstly, the quality of the work that's out there is exceptional. In particular, this has been very much the year of the play um, over the musical. Secondly, we have benefited from the weak pound. Uh, we've had a huge number of European visitors come to the West End. Um, and thirdly, of course, a lot of the Brits have stayed at home, the staycations, and instead of maybe going skiing in France or, or going to the Caribbean, they've decided to, to stay at home in the UK, and the West End offers an enormous amount, and actually a relatively inexpensive way, perhaps, to, to entertain families or entertain themselves. And, uh, well, great it's not escapism. that inexpensive. I mean, going to, I, I do try to get to the theatre, but it is costly. It's not that inexpensive. So that's what I suppose is quite surprising, that it's doing so well. Because well, I mean, you're looking at at least £30 a ticket for a decent seat. Yeah, but uh, there are also a lot of deals out there uh, for, us, for ourselves. Uh, the front row of the of the show every night is put on sale for £15 standby tickets. So I think if you do um, go to the theatre on the day and see uh, and buy these standby tickets, you can actually go and see a show for, for £15 or £20. So if you're organised, you can, you can enjoy a wet, the West End inexpensively. And Anna Friel is not an unknown name. Does it help having big stars from TV like her drawing yes. crowds in? Yes, it, de it definitely does, because you, you can build up the advanced steam with uh, press and publicity. And actually, in, in these times also, I think people have been uh, very keen to see something that is quite familiar. So having star names in a play has really helped, because they know that who they're going to go and see, and perhaps they, they're taking less risk in their decisions because of the, because of the cost. And it's not only, of course, London theatre that's doing well, it's regional as well, all over yes. the country. What types of productions are doing well? Is it comedy? Is it drama? What, what do people want to get away from to see? Well, the plays have definitely done well this year. I mean, musicals are probably going to do as well as they did last year. Uh, the plays, and I think stories, to be honest with you, I think people are keen to get back to stories. And I think that's why Breakfast at Tiffany's has done so well, because it's a story. And perhaps the, the shows that were more sort of, um, uh, I call them popcorn, perhaps they're not, they're not so meaty as before, are actually, I think people are, people are wanting to go back to, to, to storytelling and, uh, and uh, you know, star names to people that they know. And these are the ones that have done very well this year. I, I was struck when you said that it wasn't just... Uh, the benefits of the pound bringing in tourists. And yep. You had a lot of, uh, sort of British people yes. staying at home and going to the theatre as well. Yep. It, it does make you wonder about theatres around the UK then. They don't seem to be enjoying that uh, sort of bounce that London theatres have. Now, if it was all stay-at-home tourists, yes. then you'd expect theatres across the country to do well too. Yeah, I mean, I think that's true. I think the regional theatres are having a harder time. Um, but in London, of course, you have the benefits of great restaurants and lots of other things to do. And I think they perhaps they're going from Scotland or from Manchester coming to London as opposed to going abroad because it's not just going to the theatre as part of the shopping and the restaurant experience. And I think London has done extremely well. It's now the biggest uh, tourist city in, in Europe, uh, went ahead of Paris a few years ago. And I think we've got ourselves very organised. I think our ticket distribution is very good. The internet's been a huge thing. We've sold more than 70% of our tickets through the internet. And that has really broken down the barriers of people, perhaps, who, weren't, who were uh, not traditional uh, theatre theater goers. So it's good now, even though we're in a recession officially. Does it carry on this way next year? I think next year could be very challenging for us because... I think that uh, you know cinema and theatre generally do well in recession, but I, I think uh, there's an amazing quality of, of work coming on uh, next year again in plays. But uh, I think it will continue to be challenging uh, next year, and uh, we just we just have to keep doing the best stuff so that people keep coming back to the theatre.
You see, splendid answers. Let's see if we can do that trick again. Do we have a round of applause for Colin Ingram? Oh, thank you, thank you. Because producers, we don't normally get a <laughs> We normally get booed, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick them out. <laughs> Colin, thanks very much. Thanks. Would you pump all your money into the theatre if you have that much faith into it? Well, actually, we've seen quite an increase of, of people interested in investing in theatre because they're fed up with the traditional way of doing things and they want to have some fun as well. So, actually, uh, we've, we've done quite well in attracting money where I'm putting on a, a musical of Ghost uh, in, in 2011. And, actually, that's been uh, an amazing response, uh, both from the States and the UK. So, I think investing in theatre is a good way of doing it. And if a show like Billy Elliot or Mamma Mia, my God, it can be it over be very 10 years. Of, you would have been shocking if you said no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it would have been. Okay, Colin, thank you very much. Thank you much. very much.